Hi, this is a video for the Whistler Control demo um, frequency searcher we've built into WTR Browser now. So I'm just going to show you how to set up your control demo to enable the login. So uh, if I open the control demo 2.1, you can download this off WTR Browser in the um, main menu and you can download that from my Dropbox if you want to download it from Whistler you can do you have to fill in a load of information you probably already got this so you won't need it okay so I've already set my COM port up I'm not going to go into the COM port side of things that will be down to yourselves to try and set that up so we're interested in the login so if you go to the main menu here and press login and configuration now I've already set mine to desktop um, and it's named traffic 2 now I've unticked the append current date to file name now that adds the date to the file name now I've unticked it for a reason and the reason is within WTR browser and you have to set your your same um, file name here to pick up this file name so if it changed every day you'd have to change your location in WTR browser every day if you want to do that that's fine it's not an issue but you please remember that you have to do that because uh, you'll be searching yesterday's and it will never work you'll come across a channel and it just won't search so um, I untick that enable login at startup make sure that's ticked and press save Okay, so I'm already connected mine to COM port 6, so I'm going to press begin. As you can see, I've connected to my scanner. Right, so now I'm going to go to WTR Browser and I'll show you how to set that up. So you want to go to Scanner Pickups on the top menu and press Whistler Scan. So you're going to be met with this now, and it will say here the, the correct database is loaded for this operation. Now this is for the May 2018 business radio database it won't work with any other database uh, if it isn't selected you won't be able to go any further so it will tell you if you you errored or not so that's that bit done as you can see it's already found my file name here but I am going to show you how to do it so I'm going to press this find whistler control demo file it will give you a warning if you press cancel it will error so we know it's on the desktop so desktop and we know it begins with traffic so start typing and it will come up press save and that's it that's saved now we are ready to roll so if I press start WTR browser will reload back up and you'll see in the info bar Whistler control demo started so it's telling you you've done it right and you're, you're now waiting for the information so now we're going to go to the uh, control demo and I'm going to unpause it because it's been on pause and we're going to let it do some searching so there we have it you can minimize this by the way and don't use it you can just use your keypad on your scanner um, so I'll just um, I'll drop it down so you can see I'm not cheating here or so right as you can see it's brought a result in automatically from here as you can see that frequency matches that and um, you found out who owns that frequency so I'm gonna press right and I'll try and find something else Remember, this will only search the business radio database at the moment. Um, I don't make any plans on making it search um, uh, short-term high or anything like that. It's um, it's purely just for a, a gridded reference for May radio business radio database. Sorry. Um, on the WTR browser, you must make sure you don't alter any of these. Just let it do everything automatically. If you want to go back to normal searching, just make sure you, you go to there and turn it off. It's as, uh, as easy as that. So it's, it's found something else. Um, 
don't know what that is it's not found it on the uh, database so skip that just um, wait for it to pick some else up for you so you can see a few more frequencies being found obviously this is uh, three o'clock in the morning so it's a bit quiet so it's going to just be picking up control channels for now so we'll just wait for it to skip round. this is just on a, a limit search as you can see if you're doing this through um, your your memory it won't work because obviously you've already set your alpha tag so this is just a, a search you can do it limit search um, and you can also do it through the uh, spectrum sweep it will work on both as you can see 4400125 and it's brought up four results obviously the nearest one it could be any of them for me really but I could probably pick all them up uh, but obviously it's a game of uh, detective work to find out who owns what as you can see the emission code there as well as there's only one so you ain't got much of a clue on that one so I'm just gonna go through that again as you see it's just picked another one up and it will just keep doing that obviously if you come across um, um, a birdie or whatever you want to call them on here it will just completely lock your scanner down and you won't go any further and it won't search obviously till you lock that out so if you can either press skip or, or right so it's mainly you need to be sat with it really to, to get the best out of it you can it does create a log I'll just show you the log if you click on any of them results it will search them results again so it's time stamped I haven't put the date on it there's no, no real point for that so it will just search if you click that it will search them again and that's as easy as it is and um, a big thanks to Rick King really I, uh, it was his idea and um, I just thought what a great idea so you'll be pleased to know this will be working for the Uniden scanners as well um, only for certain models and it's using the ProScan um, program for this this is a paid program unfortunately nothing to do with me um, I am going to contact them and see if they'll give us um, a coupon code or something to give us a little bit of a discount obviously there's a lot of users on WTR browser now and let's see if we can get a, a discount for you okay thanks